Guys, just one thing I got out here. It's weeds. I mean, I got weeds, weeds, weeds for days. So, uh, my weed eater videos are pretty popular. So, I'm going to introduce you to the ultimate weed cutting tool for the weed eater. Let's see if it can handle some South Carolina weeds. All right. This is the weed warrior. Um, but several... There's several kind of, you know, different makers of this. I'll, I'll attach one from Amazon down below. I was just at Wally World and decided, you know what? Let's see if this thing's got it. I, I was ran out of line. I bought some line just in case. But we're going to try this thing, see how it works. I think it was 12 bucks, And uh, see what happens. It came with an extra set. So it already came with an extra set. I don't know how long these things last. It says it lasts longer, but uh, that's not really a big claim. It says it's fast loading, and it does look like it's just a ball where you can press it down, but let's get it out of here and uh, see what's going down. Multi-fit, probably kind of, they give you a whole bunch of bolts and stuff. Probably has, you know, it's supposed to fit many different items there. To remove broken or worn blade. Push in the red button and push the blade out through the bottom center. See that? Easy to replace. Easy install, baby. I agree. Let's go ahead and take it all the way out. She's out. Okay, she's in. She's out. She's in. All right. I just don't know how this is going to work trimming fence line. I, I, I feel like everything else is, is probably is going to be okay, but we're going to give it a shot. I guess you just got to kind of, uh, and, you know, figure out what model you got. There's a couple different methods. A, the method that I got. You got the one where you use the big old, uh, this piece. And then that's it. Oh, and that one just says use a nut. I definitely need at least a screw to get mine on there. So, for the BL Bolin's 110, BL 110 is the five. go over this installation process one more time no washer no nothing you just can use this piece you're gonna use this piece put it in there I'm gonna slide this on the shank you're gonna hold the bezel here See how I got that in there? And then you just kind of kind of spin this in. Holding it. Holding right here. Tighten it up. Well, uh, <laughs> obviously I didn't do something right here. And as soon as I started starting it, that thing just flew off there. Um, I guess it's for the thread. Something ain't working. <laughs> I gotta go back to the drawing board. I'm gonna read the instructions. We'll be right back. Alright, once I really tightened it down, I had to really... I had to really hold this and really tighten it down a little bit more than I wanted to. But once I did, then we were good. Um initial I just all I did was trim a little bit of this sidewalk here and it did good I was trying to do it with one hand but it definitely does as good as as anything else but what we'll do is we'll um, really need two hands to really do better but it, it definitely grabs and cuts the grass I'm, I'm interested to know how it's going to do against this this will be similar to chain length 
two by two, two by four fence, sorry. And uh, we'll see how it does there. Just trying to do this with one hand. Woo! All right, guys, so this is what we ended up with. And it looked like my major issue came on these bricks right here. Because um, there's one piece right here, <laughs> and there's the other two pieces right there. But once I, I don't know if you can see them right there. Um, once I got past here, obviously, I didn't have any more breakage but I don't know where my breakage occurred I know one piece like I was on the edge of this brick right here it seemed like it just popped off but with that short of a blade I went around the rest of the fence and I don't think it's that bad except for it's just not getting a lot of coverage but I don't know I might try it again but man I'm already I only did half my fence line right there I mean if you got a lot of fence that could become an issue also uh, just learning how it works and how it grabs you know like sometimes if you have a string um, it'll grab a certain way grabs the fence a certain way and will yank the weed eater one way or the other this is a little little different so just learning it I think is going to be a little bit but it wasn't that bad I mean I'm intrigued I'm gonna I'm gonna continue I'm gonna continue to try it out I may replace these blades and try it out some more and include that in this video but I am um, I, uh, I don't have a clear answer yet all right so let's uh, compare what we lost there we lost a lot man um, so I don't I'm, not, I'm thinking that's definitely not... I'd rather just have string. I don't know if this is a good deal, man. Like I said, let me put these in and run some more fence lines and see what happens. All right, guys, here's the uh, after. Uh, we're basically in the same shape we were. That was going around the fence. That one kind of lasted. Going around the fence, I think I kept the full blades, okay? Let me show you guys what, what I believe happened. Um, so going around my fence, I don't think I had a hard time. Going around the cement wasn't that bad. But this brick right here, I have this brick. I have this type of uh, cinder block on my house and it does not like that. It, it, I couldn't get up against here to do it and I have uh, a pretty good wall of it. So this, you know, it's got the texture and everything in it. So it did not like that. It did not like jagged edges, but it didn't seem to have as much problem with the fence I was able to go all the way around my fence, but um, but that that type of brick, it's not, it does not like that at all. It just so there's a there's a couple things I didn't like about it. 
A is breaking way too much for me and my purpose and what I need it for. I think if you had a privacy fence, it would be just fine. Um, but to have a fence like this, where I need to get down into these little corners right there, you can't do that with this thing. It, it, it's not flexible enough and I need to be, and if I got the line on there, I can kind of just throw my thing in there. You can't do it with that. You just can't do like little V areas very good. It takes a lot to, to learn how to use it. Like I was, you know, you gotta kind of keep it perfect. It, it grabs a little bit different. So I think if you took time to learn how to use it and you had a privacy fence, maybe something flatter, didn't have a lot of jagged edges, but um, I'm telling you, this thing, don't, uh, I hit my vinyl siding and it like chipped it. Um, so I will say that this thing, well, those blades, they cut in something. I mean, they're taking care of some business. Uh, so you got to be careful if you got vinyl siding. You don't want to put it up against vinyl siding. Anything plastic, anything like that. Dog, this just make it. It went through that like hot butter. That is kind of cheap dollar store stuff, but it's definitely you don't want to you don't want to get around no plastic bow. It's definitely the blades are cutting blades. They cut well. I do like that. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I just got too many nooks and crannies that I got to get into and this thing either stalls out, it breaks. Uh, I guess if I just had flat cement to go up against, it would be fine. Like I, on my back porch, on my back porch, I got this flat cement like this and it, uh, it did perfect. It did perfect for that. So if that's what you are edging against, Maybe even chain link it would do okay, but like I said, it's very touchy. Very touchy, guys. Um, I'm gonna give it a pass. I, I don't think I'll be buying any extra blades. I'm gonna just use the string. If you haven't uh, checked out my Bowens video, check it out. So I'm gonna say this is not good. Not good for my purpose. I don't know that it would really be good for anybody's purpose. It's It either breaks when you don't want it to, or it's too... It's too strong, you know what I mean? It's, it's kind of just one of those things where this just isn't the purpose for it. I'm not sure where you would use it at. I'm not sure what it would be. I'm not sure what kind of application it would be good for. So it, it's good. It cuts down grass really, really good, but so does my mower. And um, I wouldn't get this thing too close to my house. And um, I can't get my mower too close to my house. So I'll just stick with weed eater string. If you got one of these, or you go good, go try it out. See what you think. Just don't get it on your vinyl. If you got vinyl siding, whew, be careful. Um, and let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. If you already got one of these, let me know what you think. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out all my other videos. I got anthill casting videos. Check it out. I know that sounds crazy, right? Check it out.